Welcome to our next tutorial of Mesh Surface for SolidWorks. This tutorial is dedicated to the cross section command and uh, we will cover what this is and why can we use it and what for. Generally, a cross section it just takes a slice from the reference mesh and the main idea is you use it as a visual reference or accurate reference when you create your 2D sketches. I'll just quickly go through an example to explain what it is and then we'll go in details. I'll just take this front plane and make a cross section. We'll take the slice here, press OK. Now we have this cross section as an entity in our feature tree. I will hide the mesh. I can easily take the front plane now and we'll start using the standard SOLIDWORKS commands to recreate my sketches. So as you can see, this is my visual guidance here and I can define my circle with a radius of 100 or you can just get a, as close as possible to your reference. I will cancel this and let's go now in details of uh, how it can be used and uh, all the um, advanced settings. I will show the mesh and start from the beginning. Cross section command is available always on the screen when you have a mesh loaded and if you press it the software will prompt you that you must have a reference plane, an axis or a planar face. We'll start with a um, reference plane now. I will select my front plane because my intention is to take a slice and I'm going to make my sketch on the front plane. When I have the um, plane pre-selected, I can press the cross-section command. The software gives us a preview of the points that will go that lie on the plane, which is our section plane. Our section plane starts at a certain offset from our reference plane. You can offset this by using numeric values here, pressing enter, and you can flip the, orient the direction where this is positioned in respect to our reference plane but also you can just move your mouse and you can just track your plane to the position where you want. When you are happy with this you can just press OK and the cross section will appear. I will cancel now and as you saw we have some areas here that are not of interest in our um, example so let's take um, some selection on this mesh, for example this one, because this is what I need. And I will go again, get my front plane and create a cross section. Now we have an option here that it's uh, uh, available that the user can only get points which belong to the selected points only. And I can just slide. And as you can see here, the section points, they don't take into account the triangles that are not selected. As you can see, we have a, a, the points extracted in space, but always they are projected down to my reference plane. This is important to know because it, by design, the main idea is that all the points that I will use will be in the plane where I will draw my sketch, so that's why we project them. Now I take just a single slice and I can probably draw my circle here. But we have something which is called stack section. And the reason for having this option is that uh, when you have a scan data, you may want to get a much bigger representation of the um, object into the extrusion direction. For example, here I can type in 20 and as you can see, the software slice um, a lot more sections and all of them are projected down in my reference plane. So this is useful when you have a noisy data when you want to achieve a much better accuracy. I will press OK now and we will hide my mesh and we will start making my sketch a standard SOLIDWORKS sketch. If I zoom in you will see that the points are here distributed based on the scan data and as you can see this is a 
pretty good scan and it's well aligned so that's why you get this point here but in some cases you may get quite a noisy data and you can get a much better representation of the surface so you can approximate in a better way so this is the, the sectioning if we use a um, plane for the extrusion but I will just delete this and we'll go through the other option that it's uh, designed to be used for revolved surfaces as I can see here this is an object can be created by revolving this uh, profile so let's try to recreate again we'll just use the mesh selection to pick the areas that are of our interest for example this and here because this is unselected maybe I will use a little bit of a brush here so I can just get more on the um, fillet areas and this is what I need to extract my profile for revolved surface in order to do this we will just take these two planes and in SOLIDWORKS I will create a reference axis press OK so now I, now I have my axis of uh, re revolution which means that if I have a profile I can just revolve around this axis I have my axis pre-selected and I'll go to mesh the surface and select the cross section if we have an axis selected then the software actually treats this section plane in a bit different way it just takes the axis and you can rotate around this axis at uh, 360 degrees you can see the parameter here you can type in your numeric values to position the plane but again you can just use your arrow and you can rotate let's explore what happens again this is the plane where all my points will be stored but this is where actually the physical sectioning happens I can press OK and start doing my sketch but again this part is not part of my revolved surface so that's why maybe it's a better strategy if I just use through uh, selection only to get only the profile that it's of my interest again in the same way we can use the multiple sections let's put it 20 press enter you see that now the software split the whole 360 degrees by 20 and this is how the sections are generated you can type in much bigger value here to get uh, more sections that will give you better representation of the surface and as you can see everything is projected on my starting plane and this is what will be used for um, reference in my sketch if I'm happy I just press OK and now let's explore again a little bit how we can use this I'll hide the mesh because I don't need it I'll just take this and create my standard SOLIDWORKS sketch as you can see now I have a nice and good outline of my object and I will just um, take my standard SOLIDWORKS tools we'll just generate my profile here I'm not so accurate but you can do this in my more accurate way you can add dimensions in sketch because this is just a, a normal um, SOLIDWORKS sketch I just created my default surface and then I can press OK for the for the sketch I have my profile nice and easily created I can only just click on the cross section and hide my cross section because I don't need it and now let's to finish our job I will just go to the features and create revolts feature now I need to have my axis and I'll take this axis and as you can see I created my body for the purposes of um, <coughs> design um, and the last thing I wanted to say is let's take this for example and I create a chamfer you can just apply here and you can continue modeling in your the way you want 
in a standard uh, SOLIDWORKS um, tools. When you have a body like this one, you can always pre-select a flat surface that you can just uh, take it and if you, you, you must have to have the cross-sections enabled, you must have the visual um, meshes that will these um, sections will go through. And now I can just pick and we will create a section here. As you can see, the software will use this phase where the cross sections will be projected. And this is where my reference cross section points will be created. When you're happy, you press OK. They just appear on this plane and you can actually come in SOLIDWORKS and create your sketches on this face. This is more or less about the cross-sectioning. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.